For more videos, visit for the sake of education.com. Alright, gas problem 2 4. Determine the magnitude of the resultant force acting on the bracket and its direction measured counterclockwise from the positive u axis. Let's break it down into, let's break down each force into two components. So, df1 has an x and a y component. This would be fx and this would be f1y. And the same goes for the F2, F2x, F2y. So you know that F1x is equal to 200 pounds, which is the magnitude of F1, times the cosine of 45 degrees F1y is 200 pounds times the sine of 45 degrees F2x is 150 pounds times the cosine of 60 degrees F2y is 150 pounds times the sine of 60 degrees. We're going to plug those numbers in our calculator and we're going to find how much is each. So it's 200 times the cosine of 45. It's 141.4. Pounds. Cosine of 45 and sine of 45 are the same, so 141.4 pounds. Then F2 will be 150 cosine of 60. That will be 75. And F2y will be 150 sine of 60. Which will be 129.9. Pounds, pounds. Now remember, in F1, the y component is negative. Now, to find the force, all you gotta do is add the x and the y components together. So r will be equal to the x component will be this two. Let's put an x right here. So it will be 141. 0.4 plus 75 for a grand total of 216.4 and the y component will be this two which will be negative 141.4 plus 129.9 which will be 11 negative uh, 11.5 now to find the magnitude all you gotta do is Use the Pythagorean theorem and do 216.4 square plus 11.5 square and you square root that. To get 216.7 and to get the angle you just gotta use the inverse tangent. Inverse tangent of the y component divided by the x component, 216.4, which would be negative 3.04 degrees. Final answer, and remember this is a long the U 